Some Toyota vehicles are equipped with third row seats, which can be folded down and stowed to increase available cargo space when not needed for passenger use. While details of the seat's design may differ, depending on model, the basics of their operation remain the same. In most cases, the third row seat can be manually folded, raised and stowed from inside the vehicle or from outside with the lift gate open. In some cases, a power-operated third row seat is also available. Before folding down the third row seats, their seat and shoulder belts should be stowed and head restraints lowered to prevent interference. Also ensure that the floor area is clear of any items that might cause interference with the moving mechanisms. Then, release the seat back using the appropriate fold-lift seat back strap or lever and fold down the seat back. In some models, the third row seat can be stowed to create a flat load floor. To stow the seat back, pull the release handle to move the seat rearward. Then push the seat down against the floor and position the flaps on the seat back to cover the gap on the floor if equipped. To return the third row seat back to its upright position, first move the second row seats forward from their rearmost position to prevent any possible interference. Ensure that the floor is clear of any items that might cause interference before proceeding. And return the floor flaps to their original position if equipped. From outside, pull on the release handle to raise the seat back to its upright position. In vehicles with a sliding seat cushion, pull the seat cushion forward. In some models, it may be necessary to ensure that front and rear leg locks are engaged and locked securely. Head restraints and safety belts may then be adjusted as required. In models with power third row seat operation, the same precautions should be observed and the shift lever must be in the park position with the ignition on. Do not attempt to operate the power seat controls while driving. The features and functions described in this video might not be applicable to your Toyota model. See your owner's manual for details. Thanks for watching this Know Your Toyota video.